Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG. Well, I guess welcome, welcome to, to GDPG. GDPG. I mean, you know, we have our avid viewers. Chris that, did like, like a line of coke around. before we started this. He what? Like, Whoa, Whoa, don't let me spreading rumors. Anyway, we're playing super hot. What a strange <laughs> opening to an episode. We're not that crazy, don't worry. No, don't no, don't get too no. scared. But we're playing super hot, uh, which I'm super excited about because I backed this as when it was in the Kickstarter phase. Oh really? And uh, so I played I, I don't remember what game jam this was originally part of. It might have been the Ludum Dare or it could have been the Ludum first person Dare. FPS seven day shooter. I don't remember the name of the jam, but this started as a game jam game and it was awesome. Uh, and so the guys that made the Kickstarter or the the like prototype version ran a Kickstarter and it was very successful. And now it's finally here. It's, and it's here. It just came out like a couple weeks ago, right? Like a week ago? Uh a By fish, time video release. Yeah, we we're recording it a week after it came out. Who knows when this video will release? Hopefully so, soon. Probably but, a couple weeks by the time we get this out. Yeah, but either way, welcome to Super Hot. This is actually how the game starts. We didn't just arbitrarily choose to start it like a weird part of the game. Um, so let's just jump into it. Yeah, let's do it, man. I have no idea what we're about to. Witness. So we're presented with some like old school like yeah, right. DOS, Incoming not not message. quite DOS, Press but like enter to reply. Yeah. So we're gonna. Can you do it with the controller? Yes. Ooh. Ow, ow, uh, we're gonna pause. Okay, we're back. We Sorry about returned. that. For some reason, it it stopped uh, recognizing the controller. So, this is how the game starts. We push A, and we get this. You're playing super hot yet? I've never seen anything like it. And then we use the triggers to type. What are you talking about? <laughs> super hot exe. It's a uh, crack. Duh logs you into this company's site so you can play this game. Sick shooter. Sick how? <laughs> Too hard to describe. Just play it. I'll send you the files. Hold on. When you run Superhot EXE, it should do everything else automatically. Chat ended. Okay, okay sending, sending now. now. Check it out. So Just, now we oh, get okay, these, uh, check it out. Oh, these files check it out. are downloading. Oh no. So we get this Trojans. Little... Right? Oh, this game, by the way, is made by Team Super Hot. I don't super know if we. Hot. Or super Hot Team. Team One of those Super Hot. Team Super Hot. I don't know if we actually said that, but that's right their there. actual it like, says in development. You see where it says, right? Team Super Hot. Team super right. Hot. That's team, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can actually just like go around here and just like bounce <laughs> just around. Just look at stuff. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. I found some uh, pretty, I actually decided to go through these and <laughs> just kind of see what kind of fun stuff there are. But we can do like virtual reality be like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. That's pretty cool. Like virtual reality on a DOS machine. Yeah, right. Um, there's some other fun ones there are too. games? Like, there, is the game actually take you to the game or? Uh, these are other games. So like Tree Dude. <laughs> His name is his, his name Tree is Dude. Tree Dude. And this is actually a copy of a mobile game. Is it really? It is. Uh, I already messed it up. Dude! <laughs> this, I think this actually got popular on YouTube for like a little bit. Really? Um, but, it's, it's, it's fun. But it, like this is the ASCII version of it. So like right. the, the actual game is uses real art. But yeah, this, you just hit left and right and you avoid branches. Dude, dead. It's, it's dead, super silly. Dude, tree dude. Um, and there's all sorts of cool stuff. I think though that part of the point of it is that it probably hide some secrets in here. I would assume. Like, this is one of the things that, that's on it, and it's just a video, but it's super ominous, and you're just like, what? These people are completely fine. It's, they are just a, enjoying a happening? new exciting video game. And it just, it, it goes on for a while. It's super messed up, and it's so, like, pixelated that it's really hard to tell what's going on. And, uh, of course, you get the audio that's like, these people are fine. It's yeah. like, these people are not fine. Are not fine. But let's actually jump into Super Hot. Yeah, let's get hot. But I, I really, really like this starting oh, interface. Oh, it's so hot. Because not only is it, like, ripe full of secrets, um, but it starts it starts the tone of the game perfectly, where you're just, like, you're in this, like, weird interface. You're not really sure what's going on. There's a lot of weird stuff going. And suddenly, when you enter the super hot EXE, everything is, like, a totally different world. You're no Whoa, longer in, like, a low-tech. these graphics. Yeah, buddy. So, it's... This art is super beautiful. So these characters are portrayed in this like polygonal, um, like glass. Yeah. Time moves only when you move. So that is the mechanic of the game. I feel like I've heard about super high. Yes, and that is why um, 
this game is actually very interesting as far as first person shooters go because time only moves when you move suddenly aiming is very challenging because if a, an opponent is moving you actually like anyone that plays first person shooter games probably like has a sense of where you need to aim while a target is moving but suddenly when time stops when you're not moving it actually totally messes with your head um i remember this game i think you must have brought the demo over one time back when it first came out i might have yeah. well like back when it was in like i don't know beta or whatever because i remember the whole super hot super <laughs> Yeah, no, I think we did actually play it at, yeah. uh, at, at Intangible's place at yeah. one point. Um, just because I was super excited about it. So uh, now we're presented... Right now we're basically in the tutorial phase. See, like I just missed him because I was aiming at his head. Um, actually, I don't know if there's any point really to shoot heads other than for the funds of it. Um, but... Oh, that's the other thing. Because time only moves when we move, we actually don't... Ooh, there are more guys. We don't reload until we're moving. So I can't just, like, keep firing aimlessly. Or mindlessly, rather. And we also... Oh, I didn't dodge that bullet. But we uh, we can dodge bullets because we yeah. control time. Super fascinating, right? See why that's I'm excited about this game? Crazy. Sorry, I was, like, totally taken away by that. It's To me, it's sort of like a puzzle first-person shooter game, which is sort of like unheard of yeah right oh yeah right there nope oh, nope i thought he was gonna keep moving in that direction that's okay because he has no gun it was a setup oh. yeah right that, that's what i'm wondering so based on the information we get from our friend right we we kind of like get this context that we're just like some joe schmo that's entering this virtual reality space and we don't necessarily even know what's going on but we do get these little bits of text yeah right. um also note what it says it says press a to hand over the control what does that mean yeah, right. does it mean we're handing over our control to move to the next person or are we handing over the control of the person we are currently controlling yeah, right. to the controller? Yeah. Oh. Also, uh, while this isn't very game designy, there is. Oops, I just skipped it. Well, oh, am I replaying oh, you, it? You hit replay. Yep. Whoops. Uh, so there is a a system where you can actually like view the footage from your your fight and obviously after you beat it it shows it to you in real time um which as far as like action sequences go that's really cool to watch because we we're we're actually playing the game in a very different uh yeah. like feel than what uh what it actually plays out as yeah. um and it sets it up for some like really cool flashbacks oh yeah um but we can actually view the replay and uh oh i just uploaded it so we can view the replay and we can actually edit, edit it and then yeah. we can submit it to the i think it puts it on steam that's crazy based on that notification but yeah so you can just like see the little like video clips from other people's yeah, right? gameplay so like, this game definitely gives me like a level of uncomfortability you know see and this is the tutorial where they're teaching us hey you have to learn how to dodge bullets which yeah, right? i just failed at yeah, but I feel like they, they make this like level of disconnect is... on purpose. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I think it's really effective because I feel kind of uncomfortable watching you play because nothing seems like real enough, you know? I know, right? And it makes me wonder, I haven't played very far in this game yet um, because I only actually played it for about half an hour this morning before I started my day job. Yeah, right. uh, ooh. And, uh... I really, really am curious what the, like, story or, or what the yeah. actual plot of this game is going to end up being. is Because, like, they could take it so many directions, right? Like, maybe we start becoming aware of what's going on. Or maybe, like, we are being, we find we're being controlled by, you know, the controller or whatever it is. And the demo made it seem very much that way, where, like, um, at a certain point, you sort of become, like, self-aware and you, you're told to kill yourself. Um, oh, geez. So now we. So this is still tutorial stuff. So now we get to learn that we can throw our gun because our gun was oh, out of ammo. Notice how it cool. shatters, too. And we can punch. Oh, you pick up the gun. Take the oh, gun. that's super cool. Boom. That There's a good also combo. a gun right here, which I'm going to definitely use. Super hot. Super hot. 
But yeah, the the original version of this game got super like brain melty too. So I think they have a, lo a lot of room for doing some cool right. stuff. Oh, there's lots of guys. Yeah, this is definitely a turtle level. Oh yeah. And it tells you when you're out of ammo, and then you can just throw your gun. And just grab another gun. And then... You, and then just miss. And just miss. He did not move the way I thought he was going to move. Super hot. Oh, nope, there's still some people Nope, up. there's definitely still some people. Oop, oh. there he is. Also, uh, I don't know if you can really see... Yeah, because he's just standing there right now. You can kind of tell that uh, even when you're not moving, Super. time does move very, oh. very slowly. Oh. Um, there have been some moments where, like, I'll be right up against someone and not moving, just kind of watching them, yeah, and, uh, like, they'll just shoot me. Shoot me, and you're like, wait, but... <laughs> Come with us. How about no? no? Boom! Boom! Oh, I love this. So watch. He's flying that way. The train is coming. Everything is timed so perfectly. Now you're dead. You're dead, son! Boom. And now, of course got more guys coming so what do you think about the aesthetic of the game um it's it's kind of like what we talked about earlier it's kind of brain melty man right is it's so uh it, surreal to me yes, to like it feels kind of like i robot almost i can see that honestly like, I, to be honest i haven't seen a lot of i robot I've never finished it but like what? yeah it's fine it's a great movie. I mean, it's a movie. I mean, it's it's not like an Academy Award winner. No, anything, no, but it's not, like, I'm not against those either, though. Like, I'm not like pretentious. Well, it's like a. It's to me that's sort of like um one of those more modern sci-fi classics. Yeah, I feel you, man. Like it's no Blade Runner or anything, but right. it still is amazing. But I just I feel like it has its level of just like dystopian utopia feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, even though that's not really the point of it yet, but it feels just like. It's so clean. Oh. So, okay, real quick. This, so this happens where uh, it, like, bugs out, and it actually keeps us in the environment after we already finished our ah, mission really cool. for a little bit longer, and it gave us that, like, unauthorized access warning, and so we're just, like, oh, look how we can kind of move around. Movement. It's like, oh, what's happening? Uh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, we and can now we're get into more of this. And now we're brought back here. Yeah. Super mind melty. Actually, that's a really great place to stop. Yeah, so okay, oh. we'll we'll come back to this in the next episode. Uh so question of the day. I just want to talk straight up about the game mechanics so far. Yeah, right. So this is obviously like it's I think this indie game is gonna be super su successful because mm -hmm. it's a very original idea. Oh yeah. Um so I want to hear from you guys. What things do you think they can still do with the, these mechanics of time only moves when you move? Um, we've gotten a basic rundown of like all the basic mechanics, right? Yeah. Like we can throw guns, we can throw a punch, we pick up guns, and we can shoot and, move, and control time. Um, I like so, the uh, throw, grab, shoot option. Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> so, so what kind of challenges do you think that we have in store for us as the game progresses? Because obviously this is a fully fleshed game yeah. now. Uh, so they, they had to have been sort of creative about what kind of challenges they're presenting us. I want to go with cellular. <laughs> cellular? I bet it's just like weird phone calls or something. It could be. Ooh. All right, well, thank you for watching, everyone. If you want to see us keep playing Super Hot, we're going to keep playing for at least a few episodes. Yes. Uh, but be sure to vote in this voting system right now uh, if you want us to keep playing Super Hot, because we will happily play it to the Absolutely. end. Absolutely. Um, in addition to that, vote on what you want to see after we're done with Super Hot, too, because we'd love to play the games that you Lots guys want us to play. Games in store for everybody. Yep. And they, they change every day, so yeah. keep checking back. See you guys. But, uh, thanks for watching.